Hi guys, my name is Tomcat and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. Now, in this video, we're going to be checking out Chelsea Denofa's FD Mustang and we're going to be going over a couple of things. One, how to get it. Two, one of the easiest ways to get it and or at least one of the easier strategies to get it. And three, we're going to be building it. We're also going to be maxing out um, its perks. So, we're going to be completely diving into this car, and I couldn't think of a better time to drive a Formula Drift car than in a snowstorm, apparently. But really and truly, like, this this car was a very odd choice for winter, and I'm not sure why uh, they decided to go about launching this car in winter, but it's... It's here, and we're going to go ahead and drive it in winter because that's when they've given us access to it. So, without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and first max out the... Uh, we're going to max out the perks for this car. And I'm, I'm going to save the wheel spins for later because I feel like the wheel spins... I mean, they're just wheel spins. They're not really all that interesting. So, we're going to do all the other car-specific perks first. And then later on, you know, when it's not in a video, then I'm going to go over the wheel spins because... You guys don't want to sit and watch wheel spins. Wheel spins are not really that interesting. So let's go ahead and get all of this stuff done and unlocked so we can have the car maxed out perks-wise. And then we're going to drift it. We're going to see what it's like. And then later on after that, we're going to see uh, what it's like when it's fully maxed out on performance. Once it's fully maxed out performance-wise, I'm sure it's going to be just, like, stupid. You know what I mean? Like, absolutely just silly. So, now that we've got all the perks maxed out, let's go ahead and drive it. So, this thing is, first and foremost, a Formula D car. And that means that you have steering angle forever. That means you have power forever. That means you have gearing specifically designed for drifting. You have a wheel and tire setup specifically designed for drifting. And this car was built to do nothing more than go sideways and make tire smoke. Now, we're not really going to be making much tire smoke right now because it is winter and the roads are super slick. And so all we're really doing is sliding around on slush. Well, that's what happens when your Elgato freaks out and cuts your recording off. It's never really done that to me before, but I'm really hoping it won't do it again. And it threw me completely out of that drift zone, so I'm gonna- are you serious? So I'm gonna go ahead and rerun that drift zone, just because I- oh god. There we go. Just because I want to see what we can- wow, that was a horrible start. I wanted to see what we could do, but this attempt is almost a wash now because of how crappy our entry was. Wow, I'm gonna just drive out the rest of that one because that was- that was awful. I don't even, I don't even, like, that one wasn't even worth running out the rest of the way. That was just that bad. All right. We ready to do this properly? Let's go. Up into third. Come on. Up into fourth. We got to enter this one with some real speed. Yeah. That's frustrating. Stay there. Let's go. Easy. Not my best line ever, but it was better than that previous attempt. Ooh, that was crappy. Needed a lot more speed. There we go. Not terrible. Not terrible. It's nowhere close to my best, but it's not awful for sure. I mean, in this car, like I said, very, very fun car to drive and very fun car to slide. So let's go ahead and show you guys what the best way to get this car is, or the simplest at least. And as you can see, I'm exactly at 50% completion of winter, and I have two daily challenges, the Showcase Remix, Rail Yard Ramp, Royal Terrace, Prince's Street, Frozen Fun, Slip Slide and Saloons, let's see, what else? Glen Rannick Extreme Off-Road Championship, and the Edinburgh Station Circuit Monthly Rivals, which... Honestly, that's like almost all of the, uh, that's almost all of it. However, you do not have to do the seasonal playground games, which if you've been having connectivity issues with Xbox Live recently, like I have, is a big deal because the fact that we were able to use those daily challenges to get the car instead of using the, the seasonal playground games is a big deal because it kept disconnecting me for literally no reason. So now let's go ahead and head to one of my houses so we can modify this thing, which it doesn't really need to be modified in the first place. But let's see what we can do with it once we just 
throw some crazy power at it. And, I mean, even if it'll let me throw crazy power at it, I don't even know. Because if it'll let me throw crazy power at it, you better believe I'm going to. The thing is, it doesn't need any more power. I mean, if there was a car that needed more power, it certainly wasn't this one. That's, that's, and that's a, that's a freaking fact right there. All right, so, custom upgrade. And it won't let us modify the current engine, but it will let us swap it to the 8.2 liter FD V10, which is the one out of the FD Viper, which would be crazy. But this is a racing twin turbo V6. That's an interesting one. All right, so now, if we want, we can convert to... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, um, I don't know what to say about that anymore. Yeah, uh, 325s in the front and 335s in the back is what I have to say about that. And I'm going to leave the wheel sizes alone. Don't need to mess with them. Drivetrain-wise, uh, I'm going to put the race gearbox in it. And platform and handling-wise, I'm going to throw the race brakes on it. And now, we have... How much power are we making again? Let's see. 1,737 horsepower and 1,801 foot-pounds of torque. Tremendous numbers. Stupid numbers. So now, let's go ahead and install that setup and take it to some drift zones and see how unwieldy this thing is. I mean, before, it was a finely tuned precision instrument. It's not that anymore. Now, it's, it's, a, it's a mentalist. I mean, it's just freaking loony at this point. And really, I don't know, I don't know if it's even gonna, even gonna work. Yes, I'm staying in Horizon Solo for now. Oh, listen to that blow-off sound. That sounds nuts. Although it is weird to hear a Viper V10 sound coming out of a Mustang. That just doesn't seem right. It needs some gearing tuning. Otherwise, all we're ever going to do is just sit and spin. And, and that's no exaggeration. All right, let's see. 494, jeez. I'm going to bring that back to like... Ooh, I don't even know. Like, a three. let's start at a 341. We'll start at a 341. What does it say our top speed is? Like 220? I mean, top speed really doesn't matter with these cars, but I want to. I just want it to be able to manage its power a little bit better. We're still, like, up to sixth, like, nobody's business. But at least it's taking more advantage of its power now. Because it wasn't before. What the heck are they doing? But yeah, beforehand, it wasn't taking any advantage of his power. Easy. Oh, my God. Oh, stay tight. If there's even such a thing as keeping a car under, like, uh, keeping this car under control. Holy moly. Good lord, this car. Woo! That's not horrible. Didn't beat my record, but I'll tell you something. First time out in a car like this, I mean, it's, you've got some learning to do, and I for sure do. All right, let's go and swing it back. Oh, my God. Control the speed. Control the angle. There she goes. Oh, my God. It just goes wherever you freaking point the thing, dude. That was better, 153. What's my record? 153.9. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I don't even know what I set that in, but now I'm determined. 
Now I'm bound and determined to actually make that. Let's go! Wow, I was trying to avoid that traffic car and I dove hard to the inside. That was bad. Let's go! Come on. Ooh, that was a crappy lead in. Come on, stay focused. Don't lose your line. Don't lose your line! Come on, there it is, there it is. Ah, it still wasn't as good. God, it still wasn't as good. My speed was off. If I had actually been able to maintain my speed better, I would have had it. Oh, I want to try one more time. One more time. Let's get this. Come on. And swing the back in the other way. That's not bad. Oh, God. There she goes. Holy, that scared the crap out of me. Oh my god. I thought that was like a solid object for a second there. Woo! There's 130. There's 140. Yes! Yes! Woo! There's my new personal best. Let's get it. Oh my god. That, okay, that, that feels pretty good. And I'm sure there's somebody out there that's going to say, Oh, my score's higher. That still feels pretty good to do. Oh, that, that's, that's, that's one hell of a fun car. I mean, I kind of wish I could do, the, like, I kind of wish I could have this same power with that Mustang soundtrack. I wish, I wish they would let us, you know, mess with that engine. But I can understand why they don't. I mean, it, it is kind of a very special engine. And I can understand why they don't let us mess with it. But still, I mean, it's like, it's one of those just forbidden things that you really just want to do. But anyways, hope you all enjoyed this video and enjoyed this build and spotlight and review and many other things and if you did please do click that like button let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought of it and if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe for more and i'll see you guys next time talk to y'all later